Hello students, in the continuation of deep cervical fascia of the neck, today we will discuss the third layer and that is the pre-tracheal fascia of neck. In my last two classes of the deep cervical fascia, we have discussed the investing layer, we have discussed the pre-vertebral layer. Ko. These are the important questions for your exam. So in this continuation, today we will discuss the pre-tracheal fascia. Now, look, pre-tracheal fascia ko padne ke do method hai. Ek to conventional method jo aapko generally anatomy ki basic books mein milta hai. Aur dousra wo arrangement jo hume clinically, radiological ya surgical books mein dekhne ko milta hai. So, mein aapko dono concept aad samjhaunga. So, first, we'll discuss the tradi traditional attachment of the pre-tracheal fascia. So, pre-tracheal fascia is lie anteriorly to the trachea and confined to the anterior aspect of the neck. Look, we have seen a tube arrangement. I have told you two tubes. What is this tube? This is the outermost big tube that is known as investing layer of deep cervical fascia. In this tube, we have seen another tube. That tube is your pre-vertebral fascia. यहाँ पे हम आज तीसरी ट्यूब की बात कर रहे हैं and this third tube is pre-tracheal fascia. So ये pre-tracheal fascia कहाँ है? Anteriorly है. आगे से पीछे जब आप जाएंगे तो it is anteriorly and it confined to the anterior aspect of the neck. Clear? Now it importance is very much why because it encloses the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland को enclose करने की वजह से pre-tracheal fascia का importance बढ़ जाता है and it form the facial capsule which is the false capsule of thyroid gland. Clear? The pre-tracheal fascia also described as the part of cervical visceral fascia as it surrounds the pharynx, esophagus, larynx and trachea. So, this word is written here, visceral fascia. This is also a short note in short note. And the children are confused about what we have to write in the short note. So, whenever you have this term, cervical visceral fascia, cervical visceral fascia means you have to write the pre-tracheal fascia only. Okay? It is not including the investing layer. It is not including the pre-vertebral layer. The word cervical visceral fascia means you have to write on pre-tracheal fascia only. Okay? Now, what are the attachments? जब आप इस fascia का orientation देख रहे हैं, when you will see the placement of the pre tracheal fascia what is the upper attachment of the tube what is the lower attachment of the tube and what is the horizontal placement of the tube so first is that this fascia is a thin fascia deep to the infrahyoid strap muscles strap muscles means jo muscles straight hain jo ki yahan pe hain strap muscles ye jo strap muscles hain these strap muscles are present in front of your neck and what are the name of these strap muscles? Sternothyroid, sternohyoid, omohyoid. Now here you have to understand one thing that this is your hyoid bone. Now whatever the muscles are here, these all are infrahyoid. That means we are talking about the muscles below the hyoid bone. So whatever the muscles are there, they are below the hyoid bone and if you will see the infrahyoid muscle, they are the connection from sternum to the thyroid cartilage and to the hyoid bone. Clear? Above the thyroid, uh, this uh, hyoid bone, what you have? You have the base of mandible. What you have? Base of mandible. So if you will see this area, what is this? This is the base of mandible. Ye kya hai? This is the chin. Chin ke niche, you have the hyoid bone. Hyoid bone, below the hyoid bone, you have this prominence. Ye kya hai? This is thyroid cartilage. Below the thyroid cartilage, you have the trachea. And ultimately, you have this sternum manubrium. So, manubrium to the thyroid cartilage and hyoid bone, you have the area infrahyoid. 
सो यहां पे द वर्ड इंफ्रा हायर्ड इज द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर एग्जाम दैट वेन यू विल सी द इंटीरियर प्लेसमेंट ऑफ प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया वॉट इज द अपर लिमिट आंसर इज हायर्ड बोन द प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया नेवर गो अब द हायर्ड बोन बिकॉज इट लाइज डीप टू दीज इंफ्रा हायर्ड मसल्स क्लियर नाउ वॉट इज द अटैचमेंट एग्जैक्टली इन द अपर पार्ट इट इज लिमिटेड बाय द रिस्पेक्टिव अटैचमेंट ऑफ दो मसल्स टू द बॉडी ऑफ हायर्ड बोन एंड ऑब्लिक लाइन ऑफ थाइरॉइड कार्टिलेज नाउ वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस लाइन कि जब आप इन इंफ्रा हायर्ड मसल्स का अटैचमेंट देखेंगे नाउ हेयर यू हैव द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर इन मिड लाइन नाउ दिस इज योर हायर्ड बोन this is your thyroid cartilage now when you will see the two bony landmark one is the oblique line now this is the oblique line on your uh, thyroid cartilage and this is the hyoid bone clear now when you will see the infra hyoid muscles infra hyoid muscles are here one is between the thyroid cartilage and hyoid bone one is coming from lower part that is your sternum एंड वन इज गोइंग डायरेक्टली टू द हाइड बोन नाउ सी यहां पहले आप इस बात को समझिए कि हमारे पास जो इंफ्रा हाइड मसल है वो क्या है ये कौन सी मसल है ये मसल सीधा कहां से आ रही है नीचे से नीचे क्या है मेन्यूब्रियम एंड दिस मसल इज गोइंग अब फ्रॉम मेन्यूब्रियम टू दिस हाइड बोन एंड दैट मसल इज गोइंग फ्रॉम स्टर्नम टू हाइड दैट्स वाई दैट दिस मसल इज नोन एज स्टर्नो हाइड This muscle is known as sternohyoid. Clear? But it is an infrahyoid area. This is the infrahyoid area, and the muscle is sternum to the hyoid bone. This is sternohyoid. In the same way, you have this muscle which is attaching to this oblique line, and this oblique line is of the line of thyroid cartilage. The muscle which is coming from the sternum. to this oblique line is known as sternothyroid what is that sternothyroid clear so yahan pe aap do cheeze dekh rahe hain ek ho gaya sternum se thyroid cartilage ek ho gaya sternum se hyoid bone theek hai to ye infra hyoid muscles hain ab aap ek baat samjhiye ki jo fascia hai wo inke upar hai ya piche hai is it superficial or deep answer is the fascia lies deep to the infra hyoid muscle so you are reading here that this infra hyoid muscles ke deep mein kya hai aapka fascia hai dusri cheez the upper attachment is limited the upper attachment of what the fascia the upper attachment of fascia is limited by the line of attachment of infra hyoid muscle or infra hyoid muscle kahan pe attach hai hyoid bone pe and oblique line of thyroid cartilage clear matlab ye hai ki iske deep mein jo cheez hai iske deep mein agar hamara fascia hai to kya wo fascia iske upar ja sakta hai nahi ja sakta because this is the line of attachment हाँ अगर फेशिया इसके बाहर होता इफ द फेशिया इज आउटसाइड देन दिस फेशिया मे गो अपवर्ड बिकॉज इट इज इट इज हैविंग नथिंग टू डू विद दिस इंसर्शन लाइन ठीक है सो सपोज करो दिस इज द मसल इफ आई विल ड्रॉ द मसल हेयर दिस इज द मसल एंड दिस इज द बोन विच बोन इज दिस हायर्ड बोन नाउ वेयर इज द फेशिया नाउ द फेशिया इज हेयर नाउ दिस फेशिया कैन नॉट गो अब दिस लाइन ऑफ अटैचमेंट क्लियर it cannot pierce this line of attachment the fascia is limited above by the line of attachment of the muscle but agar ye fascia iske bahar hota then it can go up so this is the basic thing which you have to understand ki pre tracheal fascia hamara kahan pe khatam ho gaya hyoid bone ke niche it will never come into the floor of mouth laterally what will happen with this pretracheal fascia laterally it fuses with the front of carotid sheath so when you will see the carotid sheath carotid sheath anterior wall is contributed by the pretracheal fascia and posterior wall contributed by the prevertebral fascia so it is on the front contribute to the carotid sheath on the deep surface of sternocleidomastoid 
Now what will happen inferiorly? नीचे की तरफ इस फेशिया का क्या होने वाला है ऊपर आपने देखा कि ये हाइड बोन से अटैच है थायराइड कार्टिलेज से अटैच है आपने साइड में देखा इट इज गोइंग लैटरली and it will merge deep to the sternocleidomastoid and what will happen in the lower component the lower component of this pre tracheal fascia is that it enters into the superior mediastinum so first thing is that it enters into the superior mediastinum now when it enters into the superior mediastinum it passes behind behind brachiocephalic vein this is again the question of your exam that pre tracheal fascia lies anterior to the brachiocephalic veins or posterior to the brachiocephalic veins answer is that this fascia lies behind brachiocephalic veins then it crosses the suprasternal notch then it goes deep into the mediastinum and blend with the adventitia of the great vessel that is the arch of aorta and it merge with the fibrous pericardium तो बच्चों जब आप अटैचमेंट पढ़ रहे हैं वेन एवर यू आर रीडिंग द अटैचमेंट ऑफ प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया जो ट्रेडिशनल अटैचमेंट हम पढ़ते हैं जो हमारी एनाटॉमी की बेसिक बुक्स में दिया हुआ है अकॉर्डिंग टू दो बुक्स यू हैव द अपर अटैचमेंट ऑन द हायर्ड बोन एंड द थायर कार्टिलेज यू हैव द साइड्स अटैचमेंट वेयर यू हैव द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कैरोटेड शीथ एंड देन इट विल disappear below the sternocleidomastoid when you will see the lower attachment it will enter into the mediastinum by passing behind the brachiocephalic veins and ultimately it will merge around the arch of aorta and fibrous pericardium now in this diagram dekhiye this is the key diagram of all the three layers which we discussed investing layer prevertebral and pretracheal now again in this diagram if we'll trace the arrangement of this pre tracheal fascia so first we find out the trachea where is the trachea so this is the trachea clear so first you have to mark the trachea so i mark this so this is the trachea now where is the fascia now in front of the trachea you have this gland now this gland is known as thyroid gland this gland is known as thyroid gland now this is the fascia now this is the fascia now this fascia is your pre tracheal fascia clear and the important thing is what is behind the trachea the behind trachea is esophagus what is that esophagus now see here one more layer is there now this layer is visible here in the posterior part now this layer which is on the posterior side of the esophagus is known as buccopharyngeal membrane what is that buccopharyngeal membrane now in this diagram when you will trace the arrangement of pretracheal fascia what you are able to understand that this pretracheal fascia lies deep to the infrahyoid muscles so where is the infrahyoid muscles so these are the infrahyoid muscles you can see that these are the sections of infrahyoid muscles so infrahyoid muscles ke piche kya hai hamara pretracheal fascia hota hai theek hai so this is the important thing and you can see that this is the anterior area where this carotid sheath contributed by the pretracheal fascia now we'll move to this section this is the section where you can see the sagittal part of the your head and neck now in this sagittal section if you will trace the pre tracheal fascia first you have to find out that this is the your larynx now ye area kaun sa hai hamara larynx now this larynx continue downward as a trachea now in front of this you have the thyroid gland which is here this is the thyroid gland what is this this is the thyroid gland now the fascia is anterior to the thyroid gland fascia lies anterior to the thyroid gland so when we will trace this fascia in this diagram this is the fascia so this fascia is going above and i told you that it will reach till hyoid bone so where is the hyoid bone this is the hyoid bone so this is the fascia so this is what you can appreciate that here is our 
प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया क्लियर सो वेन यू विल सी द एंटीरियर अरेन्जमेंट ऑफ द प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया अपर अटैचमेंट इज ऑन द हार्ड बोन एंड दायरेड कार्टिलेज एंड लोअर अटैचमेंट यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द स्टर्नम एंड द फेशिया इज एंट्रिंग इन टू द चेस्ट कैविटी थ्रू दिस सुपीरियर अपर्चर ऑफ द मीडियास्टिनम एंड इट लाइज एंटीरियर टू द थायरॉइड ग्लैंड बट डीप टू द इंफ्राइड मसल सो इंफ्राइड मसल अगर होंगी तो वो यहां होंगी दिस दिस इज फॉर इंफ्राइड मसल क्लियर सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग विच यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द डायग्राम नाउ वॉट नेक्स्ट इज न्यूअर कॉन्सेप्ट क्या मैंने अभी आपको बताया कि जो हमने अभी पढ़ा वो ट्रेडिशनल कॉन्सेप्ट था न्यूअर कॉन्सेप्ट क्या कहता है एज पर द न्यूअर कॉन्सेप्ट दैट द फेशिया इज डिवाइडेड इन टू द टू लेयर मस्क्यूलर लेयर एंड विसरल लेयर ये जो हमारा फेशिया है इसको हम दो पार्ट में डिवाइड कर देते हैं मस्क्यूलर लेयर एंड विसरल लेयर मस्क्यूलर लेयर मतलब क्या मस्क्यूलर लेयर मतलब वो पार्ट जो कि इंफ्राइड मसल्स को एनक्लोज कर रहा है the part which is enclosing the infrahyoid muscles while the visceral layer means visceral layer matlab pretracheal fascia proper plus buccopharyngeal fascia so aap agar pretracheal fascia pad rahe hain to according to the newer concept it is divided into the two part muscular layer or muscular fascia and visceral fascia now this visceral fascia is further divided into the two part one is the fascia which is known as pretracheal fascia proper and the another is known as buccopharyngeal fascia buccopharyngeal fascia so ye jo classification hai ye classification hum kab dekhte hain when you will see this classification when you are having the reporting in case of ct scan when you have the transverse section in the radiology radiologists use this classification that the pretracheal fascia is having the two part muscular covering of the strap muscles and the visceral layer now why it is known as visceral layer because it is enclosing the viscera like your trachea like your esophagus and this visceral layer is having the two layer anterior layer and posterior layer the layer which is posteriorly placed it, it is behind the esophagus and that is known as buccopharyngeal fascia and the anterior layer uh, that is known as pretracheal fascia proper and this pretracheal fascia proper is actually given in the basic books of anatomy where we read that this pretracheal fascia proper having a attachment on the hyoid bone and thyroid cartilage and it enters into the mediastinum clear so when you will see this diagram in this diagram we have seen that there is a all the three layers you can appreciate you can appreciate all the three component of your pretracheal fascia as per the newer concept now when you can see these are the fascia those are enclosing your strap muscles and this layer of uh, pretracheal fascia is known as muscular fascia because these layers are enclosing the strap muscles then you have the two other visceral layer now visceral layers are two i told you buccopharyngeal fascia and the pretracheal fascia proper now where is the buccopharyngeal fascia this is the buccopharyngeal fascia now this buccopharyngeal fascia is a posterior visceral layer of pretracheal fascia the remaining fascia is known as your pretracheal fascia proper where it is it is here now this part is known as pretracheal fascia proper so in this diagram of the neck you can appreciate all the three layer this is the muscular layer of pretracheal fascia this is the pretracheal fascia proper and this is buccopharyngeal fascia theek hai and these two layers are known as visceral cervical fascia which two layer pretracheal fascia proper and buccopharyngeal fascia so this is the important thing which you have to keep in mind that whenever you are reading the pretracheal fascia you have to include the buccopharyngeal fascia also because this is your esophageal this is your pharynx 
this is your esophagus and behind the esophagus you have this buccopharyngeal fascia so when you will see this buccopharyngeal fascia this fascia is lies in front of lr fascia we have read this in the uh, class of your prevertebral fascia okay so this is what is actually the pre tracheal space so pre tracheal space kya hota hai isse pehle aap in jo humne layer padhi inke attachment agar aapko yaad hai to aapko pre tracheal space padhna easy ho jata hai so what are the attachment so muscular layer surround the infrahyoid strap muscles visceral layer includes both the pre tracheal fascia and the buccopharyngeal fascia the buccopharyngeal fascia extend inferiorly from the base of skull posteriorly theek hai so buccopharyngeal fascia start kahan se hota hai buccopharyngeal fascia start hota hai from the base of skull so this is the base and the buccopharyngeal start just from the base of skull theek hai then when you will see the pre tracheal proper the pre tracheal fascia proper which i told you it starts from the hyoid bone and thyroid cartilage laterally this pre tracheal uh, uh, layer proper provide the fascial sheath for the varying thickness for the thyroid gland larynx trachea pharynx and esophagus theek hai so is pre tracheal fascia proper ne kya kiya is pre tracheal fascia proper ne kahan gayi ye side mein gayi aur isne thyroid gland ko cover kiya इसने इस ट्रेकिया को कवर किया इसोफेगस को कवर किया ठीक है सो वेन एवर यू आर रीडिंग दिस न्यूअर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया डियर स्टूडेंट यू हैव टू कीप दिस फ्लो चार्ट इन योर माइंड दैट देयर इज ए मस्कुलर एंड विसरल मस्कुलर इज हैविंग दिस विसरल इज हैविंग टू पार्ट प्रॉपर प्री ट्रेकियल फेशियन बक्को फेरेंजल बक्को फेरेंजल फेशिया स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेस ऑफ ए स्कल वाइल द प्री ट्रेकियल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द हायर बोन एंड थायरड कार्टिलेज Inferiorly, it continues into the superior mediastinum along with the great vessels. So, ये किसकी बात हो रही है? ये बात हो रही है pre-tracheal layer की, which I just told you that this pre-tracheal layer enters into the mediastinum and merge with the your fibrous pericardium. Laterally, it merges with the investing layer and also it forms the anterior wall of carotid sheath. ठीक है? So, whenever you are reading the pre-tracheal fascia, if you are reading the conventional pre-tracheal fascia. it is having only the one layer that is it starts from the hyoid bone and your thyroid cartilage goes downward enters into the chest cavity merge with the your fibrous pericardium and laterally it will encloses the thyroid gland and it form the anterior wall of carotid sheath deep to the sternocleidomastoid but when you will see the newer concept in the newer concept you have to write down the muscular layer you have to write down the pre tracheal fascia proper and you have to write down the buccopharyngeal fascia then what is pre tracheal space now this pre tracheal space is again the part of newer concept it is the visceral division of your pre tracheal layer of the deep cervical fascia and closes the anterior visceral space now what is anterior visceral space that will discuss and the surgical and radiological term is known as pre tracheal space so sabse pehli cheez jo aapko yahan samajhni hai ki pre tracheal space is again a clinical used term those people are using surgical and radiological people are using this term theek hai so ye again you don't have this concept in the your conventional books this is again important thing sometimes you have this multiple choice question what is pre tracheal space so pre tracheal space is a space which is actually enclosed by the visceral fascia now what is visceral fascia i just told you visceral fascia means do naam aayenge pre tracheal and bucco pharyngeal fascia so in the contents of this pre tracheal space are trachea as well as the thyroid gland parathyroid gland thyroid parathyroid larynx cervical part of the esophagus recurrent laryngeal nerve and cranial part of sympathetic chain dekhiye ek baat bahut yahan pe confuse karti hai ki jab aap pre tracheal space pad rahe ho to ye trachea ko enclose kyon kar raha hai pre tracheal to trachea ke aage hota hai why it is enclosing the trachea that means what what actually i mean to say is that suppose this is your trachea and behind the trachea this is your esophagus now i am saying that it is a pre tracheal space so the space should be here it should not enclose the trachea but here we are saying that it the contained is trachea 
सो so, इसका क्लियर मीनिंग क्या है द क्लियर मीनिंग ऑफ दिस लाइन इज दैट वेन यू आर सींग द प्री ट्रेकियल स्पेस इट इज ए स्पेस बिटवीन द विसरल फेशिया इट इज द स्पेस बिटवीन द विसरल फेशिया एंड वी हैव सीन दैट द विसरल फेशिया आर ऑफ टू प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया प्रॉपर एंड बक्को फेरेंजल फेशिया और बक्को फेरेंजल फेशिया कहाँ होता है बच्चों पीछे होता है सो पोस्टीरियरली यू हैव द बक्को फेरेंजल फेशिया एंड दिस इज योर प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया प्रॉपर एंड द स्पेस विच इज क्रिएटेड बिटवीन दैम दिस होल स्पेस इज नोन एज प्री ट्रेकियल स्पेस इट इज होल दिस होल स्पेस इज नोन एज प्री ट्रेकियल स्पेस क्लियर सो द प्री ट्रेकियल स्पेस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एंटीरियर विसरल स्पेस वट इज अनदर नेम इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एंटीरियर विसरल स्पेस सो समाइम्स यू हैव दिस शॉर्ट नोट राइट द शॉर्ट नोट ऑन एंटीरियर विसरल स्पेस एंटीरियर विसरल स्पेस इज नथिंग बट दिस एंटीरियर विसरल स्पेस ऑफ द नैक इज ए स्पेस बिटवीन द बक्को फेरेंजल फेशिया एंड द प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया प्रॉपर and this space encloses the trachea itself it, this encloses the esophagus it encloses the larynx pharynx upper part of the esophagus cervical part of sympathetic chain and recurrent laryngeal nerve clear so this is sometimes you have the question in your exam that what do you mean by pre tracheal space so the space extends superiorly from the hyoid bone and attachments of the strap muscles to the hyoid bone and thyroid cartilage so upper attachment kahan se kahan tak hai upper attachment wahan pe hai jahan pe hum normally is pre tracheal fascia proper ka attachment padte hain so where you have the proper attachment of pre tracheal fascia anteriorly up to the hyoid bone and and thyroid cartilage so you have the upper attachment or upper boundary of this pre tracheal space is at the level of thyroid cartilage and hyoid bone downward downward this space enters into the anterior portion of superior mediastinum just like your pre tracheal fascia infection usually spread into this anterior visceral space via either perforation of the anterior wall of the esophagus means if this anterior wall of esophagus will get perforated then the infection will come here or or by and and what is the most common reason when you are doing the endoscopy the instrument may create puncture in the anterior wall of the esophagus so the endoscopic injuries may lead to the collection in this area which is known as pre tracheal space or there may be a foreign body or there may be a trauma or from the posterior visceral space now where is the posterior visceral space now this is the bucco pharyngeal fascia this is the lr fascia and behind behind the lr fascia this is your pre vertebral fascia so ye jo space hai this space is known as dangerous space this is known as pre vertebral space so these spaces are known as posterior space so from this posterior space the infection can come after piercing the bucco pharyngeal fascia and this space which is between the lr fascia and bucco pharyngeal fascia is known as this space is known as retro pharyngeal space so when you are reading the pre tracheal space the two things should be very clear in your mind that pre tracheal space actually all around the trachea not in front of the trachea second thing is that pre tracheal space is formed because we are reading the two visceral is uh, fascias of the pre tracheal fascia one is the pre tracheal fascia proper second is bucco pharyngeal fascia that's why we are using the word pre tracheal space which is more specifically used by the surgeons or radiologist clear so this is the newer concept that is how the uh, this classification of the pre tracheal fascia comes and why we are using the word pre tracheal space clear now in this diagram you can appreciate that this is your anterior layer that is the investing layer deep to the investing layer you have the pre tracheal space and i told you pre tracheal space is between the pre tracheal fascia and bucco pharyngeal fascia so you have this pre tracheal fascia here now this pre tracheal fascia is going to the hyoid bone clear it is enclosing here the thyroid gland so this is the coronal section which you are able to see and 
where is the buccopharyngeal membrane so this is the retropharyngeal space and this is your buccopharyngeal membrane and upper attachment of buccopharyngeal membrane is to the skull so ye jo aapki layer ja rahi hai this is the buccopharyngeal membrane which is also known as visceral layer of pretracheal fascia clear so ye jo aap space dekhte hain ye jo space hai that space is known as pretracheal space theek hai so in this diagram wo kahan pe hai aapka space so ye aapka ho gaya buccopharyngeal fascia ye ho gaya aapka pretracheal fascia aur ye sara jo area hai ye sara area kya kehlaya this is known as pretracheal space theek hai now we have very important part that is the relation of the pretracheal fascia and thyroid gland यहां पे जो सवाल है द क्वेश्चन इज दैट वाई थायरॉइड ग्लैंड मूव विद द डीग्लूटिशन वेन एवर यू हैव द सोलोइंग ऑफ द सलाइवा और वट एवर यू आर सोलोइंग वाई द थायरॉइड ग्लैंड मूव द ओनली आंसर इज दैट अटैचमेंट ऑफ द थायरॉइड ग्लैंड विद द फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ द लैरिंग्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया जो प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया होता है ये प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया थायराइड ग्लैंड को पोस्टीरियरली प्लेस लैरेंजियल स्केलेटल से चिपका देता है एंड वेन द लैरेंग्स विल मूव द थायराइड ग्लैंड विल मूव सो इट फॉर्म्स द फॉल्स कैप्सूल वी नो दैट द प्री ट्रेकियल फेशिया फॉर्म द फॉल्स कैप्सूल ऑफ दिस थायराइड ग्लैंड एंड इट स्प्लिट्स टू एनक्लोज द थायराइड ग्लैंड टू विच इट इज नॉट एडरेंट एक्सेप्ट एट द बैक ऑफ द स्टमस ठीक है मतलब क्या हुआ कि दिस इज द थायराइड ग्लैंड नाउ व्हेन यू विल सी द थायराइड ग्लैंड दिस थायराइड ग्लैंड इज ऑल ओवर सराउंडेड बाय दिस फेशिया नाउ दिस फेशिया इज नॉट एक्चुअली एडरेंट टू दिस थायराइड ग्लैंड बिकॉज इट इज अ फॉल्स कैप्सूल क्लियर सो यू कैन स्ट्रिप यू कैन वेरी वेल इजीली स्ट्रिप दिस फॉल्स कैप्सूल बट ऑन द पोस्टीरियर साइड वेयर यू हैव द स्टमस दिस फेशिया मर्ज और फॉर्मली एडरेंट टू द थायराइड ग्लैंड now facial capsule is thickened and it form the suspensory ligament of the berries this is the question and which attach it to the cricoid cartilage theek hai so the close relation of the pretracheal fascia to the thyroid gland and its attachment to the hyoid bone cricoid cartilage thyroid cartilage are responsible for the movement of thyroid gland during the deglutition so this is the answer of your question why thyroid gland moves with the deglutition the only answer is there is a connection is known as ligament of berries and this ligament of berry not only connect the posterior part of the lobe with your cricoid but there is also connection with the thyroid cartilage and the hyoid bone so because of this whole reason when the deglutition occur the hyoid bone will lift hyoid bone lift the larynx and larynx will go up and anteriorly the larynx is having the thyroid gland so thyroid gland will go up and the connection between the thyroid gland and the larynx is the modifications of pretracheal fascia so this is the important thing now there is one more thing that the parathyroid glands which are present on the posterior side of the thyroid gland also contains of pretracheal fascia yani jo hamara pretracheal fascia hai this pretracheal fascia is not only enclosing the thyroid gland but it also enclose the parathyroid gland which are present here on the posterior part of the lobes of thyroid gland so in this diagram if you will see where is the ligament of berries this is the ligament of berry this is your thyroid gland which is present around the anterior part of the trachea and in this connection you can see that this is the modification and this modification is a ligament and this fibrous band is known as ligament of berries and because of this ligament of berries there is a firm connection and when this will go up or but obviously the thyroid gland will go up so sometimes you have this question why thyroid gland will move with deglutition now the pretracheal layer bland with the pericardium over the front and upper part of the heart that we discuss and because of this problem the neck infections in front of the trachea pretracheia is directly enter into the anterior mediastinum so sometimes you have this question what is the source of infection in anterior mediastinum not only the local region but the infection of the neck can also descend into the anterior mediastinum clear so at the end of this class of the pre 
tracheal fascia what we learn that what is the upper and lower attachment of the pretracheal fascia what is the difference between the conventional and the newer concepts of the pretracheal fascia what is uh, the pretracheal space and the most important thing is why the thyroid gland moves with deglutition so this is all for today's class thank you